Hello everyone, in this video we're going to progress from 4D scatter plot to 5D. Basically we are going to add another dimension. We already added the, we already have two dimensions of X and Y. We have added the dimension of time using the interact and widget uh, that we brought from the uh, one of the modules uh, in, the, um, in the visual that like, we have that widget that we can change the time based on the function that we have. And we also added the dimension of um, our population by using the size of the uh, markers in the scatter plots. Now we are going to add another dimension using um, color basically uh, to the scatter plot. And it's going to be five dimension that is shown to your audience or to yourself um, by just this one visual that brings together all of those dimensions and hopefully that can help you understand the data better and see all of these interactions together so let's see how it's done and see if there are things that we can gather or understand from the data by bringing these five dimensions together okay so let's pick up where we left off that we did create uh, this um, visual that has four dimension x y the time the third dimension that you can like see the changes based on time and also the dimension of population or the fourth dimension that is added by the size of these markers which are showing the population here so the fifth dimension we're going to use color to represent different continents so we're going to use sky blue for africa we're going to use gold for europe pale green for america and coral for asia uh, for us to be able to do this we need to uh, map these colors to the region so every time i see an africa in my data i want to have a sky blue if every time i see europe i want to have to see gold so so on and so forth so once i do this now I have created a series basically that the indexes are the same as the index of the data frame but it has the um, color based on the um, the region of that row so now that I have created this similar to the way I assigned the size all I need to do is to assign that colors to um, C here. So in, in inside my um, function, now I add this code that basically assign these colors to each region or each continent. So once I run this code, now I see um, different regions based on different colors. Now once I uh, do this, of the interaction time but I can see that in fact the color shows that there are some um, differences between different regions um, of the board uh, based on how fast they uh, progressed or they became developed or in this visual they had uh, less baby dying and based on bringing the uh, lowering the, the number of uh, babies every woman have. So um, let's let's remember what each one was. So the red one was Asia. If you can see um, the first ones that uh, were already moved towards uh, up there were blue. So Europe were uh, the countries in Europe were the ones that uh, moved up there pretty quickly and after that we saw uh, the yellow ones moving up if you after that we saw the yellow and red moving so like and then we have sort of green uh, which were Africa a lot of the African countries like lacking behind so we can see that that disparity in the progression or development is can be seen um, in different continents or different regions of the world, which 
means that adding this fifth dimension had value to for um, making a more understanding of our data. So the last challenge for this module I have for you is um, instead of using color to show region, use color to show life expectancy. Um, basically, here for you to do that, you need to create an array here instead of the uh, region. Instead of the region to map, you have to create an array that you know represent the life expectancy and uh, pass that to your color. Give this a try and see uh, how far along you can go, and then continue watching. So all you need to do is say life expectancy and pass it as a color. Uh, once you do that, um, now the pandas or matplotlib will recognize that as it is a color and it sort of produced these um, different levels. As you can see, if you increase, now the, these colors are changing as the, um, you can see it's becoming grayer or like darker as the uh, time progress. One thing we could have done once we assign color uh, that is continuous, we can also add a color map. So if we add a color map to our visual, what it's going to do is going to uh, have a color map of different uh, types. So you can have purples, blues, reds, and also other types that can be helpful as far as your visualizations and storytelling. So I'm adding that color map, and this is the code you need to add. And once I run this now, I have, instead of like uh, gray, now I can look at the uh, values based on uh, from different shades of purple. You see, so I could also change that maybe to reds. And it's going to um, work the same way. These are the shades of reds. So the assignment I have for this week for you is to um, create this very similar visual 5D scatter plots based on the specification I have provided here. So basically I want on the x-axis the log of GDP per day. On y-axis I want life expectancy. On the marker size I wanted to show the population. On the color I want to show age surviving and the interaction I want to be time. And also I have some other um, details I want you to follow. I want you to um, also scale down large differences in attributes if, if you have to, if the marker size is not um, significant as far as the differences, I want you to find that multiplier that uh, works better for uh, that visualization. But also I want you to use this Verdis Verdes, yes, Verdes color map uh, to represent um, the age surviving. And um, also, I do, don't forget to adjust the, the value, X and Y value min and max to make sure that the, the chart that you have is going to uh, be working for the story that you want to tell.